Right, there we go, that's the metallics. Um, what am I going to do next? I'll uh, do a bit of experimentation on the trousers, the bag, and all the straps, and I will put the next video up in a sec. Right, back again. What I'm going to do, just like the GW paint scheme, I'm going to be putting red gore. Well, Metronite Red foundation paint on the trousers and I'm going to do that now um, oh. see I'm not sure with these whole painting tutorials whether I should do it live or should I say what I'm going to do and then do it and then re record my results I don't know I'm just going to do this for now it's up to you, the viewers. You could probably fast forward through this. Yeah. The reason I like using the foundation paints um, is they do give quite good coverage on the actual model due to the higher pigment in the paint. So. Worry about it. not covering the areas or doing multiple multiple layers. Why they've got red trousers? I I I don't know. It's a bit of a mystery to me. If you know, it's been in the comments or something. I Maybe it's just to like I don't know if they get like blood on there. Maybe it's simpler for washing. Oh, ogres wash, wash the trousers. I don't know. Maybe we've gone a bit too far on that. Let's put that on there. Just keep these bits of the shoes a bit darker. You know, you never know when they, whether they're going to be stepping. I think I'm going crazy doing these videos. Talking to myself. What is this? I'm talking to myself. Madness. Oh. Looks like we've covered everything on there. really kind of a adult uh, sharp bright color it's really good I think I may not think I don't know Uh, what are we going to paint next? 
Obviously we'll add some kind of wash just to make it a bit darker then. Um, right, okay. Um, what do I need? Onto the belts, like that. Right, so. So I'm going to use a bit of scorch brown, I think, to go for the belt. Because I thought the other one was a bit too bright, to be honest. Just a bit. So I'm assuming they make their belts pretty much out of the same sort of material, so you just do the bags as well. Because it's cool. Because it's cool. Oh yeah. Slap in the paint. Skull in the bag as well. We'll paint the detail a little bit later. Painting. Oh yeah. Painting the bag. Cool. Looking good. Looking good. So we can get the camera around a bit more. Right. What's next? A bit of grey. Right, now that's done. We've got the brown all over there, all over the straps and such. Uh, we want to make it a bit, bit lighter, I suppose. Um, but we do want to add the shading. I've got one here. No. Right, next bit. Adapters Battle Grey, Foundation Pink. I seem to always 
get like a collection of paints on there. Do is these bits here. I don't think they're actually part of the trousers, they look like oh, shoes or something, I don't know. I'll put them on here because these look like well, stones or something, I don't really know. Of course, we're going to darken this town a little better. Black. Let's read down this. All about stages. Just take your time. Looks good. Yeah, there seems to be some sort of cutoff point underneath the leg there. Weird. Don't know. Whatever. Cool. Let's try the brush off. Right. Um, we do now. Bit of black. Bit of black. <sighs> Let him dry a bit. Whilst I'm letting him dry, I will do a few things on there. Oh, where's he gone? Right. Right. Bit of bone. A bit of bleach bone here. Bleach bone. I said earlier, there was some bones and stuff in his bag. This is all about fine painting now. Just have to get close, I'm sorry if my hair gets in the way. Is used for everything. Can you see the skull? Who can see the skull? No skull. No skull. There's a big skull actually. Uh, not a skull. A bone. There's a bit of bone sticking out of the bag. It's easy to miss the fine details, but I'm telling you, it is worth. It's a bit. Uh, it's worth doing them. I'm telling you. Fine details. Uh, make it look good. Yeah. I see it's not as good as the foundation. Because it's really dark. Those bones stick out there. Cool. Right. Let's let that bit bit dry. And guess what we're gonna do, children? That's right. We're gonna wash. I don't think we'll wash. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go mad. I mentioned earlier about Dev the Mud, what we have on the side. I'm gonna make him a bit muddy. I use this one quite a bit as well. So I've got quite a bit on my brush there. Heavy wash. You're mad, what are you doing? Oh, I spot in mud everywhere. Dev the Mud works quite well with bones because we have this sort of like brownie hinge colour to it. But there we go. I'm gonna try and make these things look a bit warm. Sort of dirty kind of. So, now 
I don't know, this is an Ogre Kingdom's laundry service. Laundry. Who knows? Who knows? go through you want to try and be very 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 careful not to get paint uh, not to get washes paints and the area you've already painted because it makes it a lot more harder to do just putting it on all the areas in which I painted brown Good. Cool. Let's put some on this rock. Don't know why I'm doing it. I'm just doing it because I can. Cool. I'll let that dry and we'll be back. Then we were back. Um, the wash is dried. It's quite nice. Um, it's not too much left to do on here now. I'm gonna add some snake bite leather. Right, as I said earlier, I wasn't too happy with this, but I apply it very, very slightly. And add onto the top of the straps. Flat brushing that on there. Oh, can't see that. Let's zoom in. Flat brushing on the top there. Just leaving a bit of the uh, scorch brown in the recesses. Just really want to pick up the See, and if you go like ten of these in a unit, um, it's up to you how long you want to take to paint them. There we go. I'm just slightly flat brushing that across the top. shouldn't be doing this with one of my new brushes. Kids, don't do it. Also, don't eat paint. Not good. I just stuck a bunch of paint in my mouth. <laughs> Trying to straighten the brush out. Yeah, don't do that. It's not toxic, but don't do it. Just, no, it doesn't taste very nice. I can't actually see. To that strap on his waist. See it there? I'll just flick it a lot more. And on the just on the edges, you know, the edges would be a bit, more, a bit more worn, so there we go. I'll be right back. <laughs> 